In today's tutorial, I am trying out something different whereby I'm going to insert a short video of myself into the instructional video that I'm going to present and at the same time to overwrite what I've done previously because uh, that time I didn't know how to go about shading the intersection of shapes but now I can. So the same philosophy applies. Past failures does not equate to future failures. If you are a student listening and you were kind of discouraged by your past results, please don't. Previously you couldn't do it, but now you can, if with the right attitude, with the right guidance. All right, let's get started with this question again. See you. This is the question. The diagram below not drawn the scale is made up of one circle of diameter 10 cm, two identical semicircles of diameter 5 cm, and an isosceles triangle ABC. Use the calculator value of pi to find the total value of area of the shaded part. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. Wow, look at this beautiful model now. Because all the shapes are <laughs> curvy, are round as it is as, as they are supposed to be. So apologies for the earlier videos, now I've got it right. So that's the spirit, keep on improving, you could do it, you can do it too. Alright, so let's start with this question, this. Okay, as what I said, identify the regular shapes, what are they? This question is pretty obvious because they are really to us, that is made out of one big circle and then two semi-circle, two smaller ones, and, and assess an isosceles triangle. Okay, got it. So next is to put them using different colors because I want to see uh, students to to see the connection or the importance of this importance of this overlapping parts. All right, let's see how when we stack up the two semicircles onto their big circle, what happens is that we have this blank area which I call the overlapping parts, right? Okay, take note. What happened to this overlapping parts? Um, size, <laughs> red plus green is equal, it will give you yellow. Okay, so you have this yellow portion here. And then red plus blue will give you this overlapping of purple. And these two are actually two double layers here on top of each other. All right, don't forget because then you have an extra area, so to speak. Okay, this is two. Oh, well, again, beautiful model here, beautiful diagram, beautiful. <laughs> okay, putting things back into perspective with that of the question again, I'm going to shade all the same color tone, you know, lines. So, as what I said just uh, earlier on or in the previous video, is that these two, when you stack them up, Okay, this diagram or this figure itself does not portray accurately the total area of the semicircles plus the big circle because you have this overlapping parts. Okay, so what happened is, okay, let's say, for example, now we just put them in, in perspective as of this moment. And what happens if I were to take away a triangle, or like what in this case, an isosceles triangle ABC? This is what is left of the shaded portion. Doesn't quite resemble that of the question, isn't it? So what happens is I will just put back these overlapping parts into the model or into the diagram. So what happens? So dissolve this part and you appear here. Similar? Exactly the same. So this is what I mean that you have an overlapping part. So how to solve this question is as simple as that. Area of the shaded region is the big circle plus the two small semicircles take away the triangle. And then you plug in all your figures, you should get your answer correctly. Don't make careless mistake because once you are able to recognize this important information, important fact there is, you should be able to get the answer for the 8.17 when I use the calculator pi value at the very end. Okay, correct to two decimal places. So this is what I would good. Um, this is what I would get. So bottom line, why I wanted to redo this video is to tell you that 
Yeah, last time I couldn't do that. Just like you, last time you couldn't score well, but now you can. Attitude, practice, and there you go. Okay, with you, uh, with that, I see you again.